So I've pulled a chunk of HTML out to say that, okay, the URL has A1 in it. So using knowing the fact that the URL has A1 in it, how do we get the three pieces of information? We need the image source, so we need to extract this part right here. We need to, we need to extract this part, I'm sorry, we need to extract this part right here, the title, the name, and we need to extract this part right here. Those are the three parts over and over and over again that we need to that we need to extract. So given A1, I should be able to get this and this and this. And then given A2, I should be able to get this and this and this. You get get what I'm saying? And then we would get that and then we would set that with these meta tags in PHP and then once the page loads, the Facebook would share it correctly. So, let's work on the regex of how to do this DOM crawling, okay? So, let's take our chunk of text here and go to our regex evaluator. This is the regex evaluator you get with the extension developer extension. It's a free plugin for Firefox. So, paste our text in here, okay? So, now what we need to search for, okay? So, given A1, we need to search for this is our starting point given a1 so let's start with that right there okay now what's next what do we encounter next so again we're trying to get to here okay knowing that we don't know what information is going to be here so what's next after this point so we're here well there's any number of spaces white space characters there's could be tabs there could be you know a new line character which there is there could be spaces you know, we don't know. So there's a character class in regex to capture all of that, and that's called backslash s. That'll capture all white space characters, okay? So we want to match the character class, which is in square brackets. We want to match the character class backslash s, okay? That's one white space character. We want to match any number of white space characters, so plus being one or more occurrences of the previous, the previous being the character class backslash s. Okay, so now, looking at our reference one here, now we're at image source equals. So now we're at the image, which is excellent. However, we actually need to match, we need to get to this I right here. Okay, we need to bypass all this stuff. Well, we know that all this stuff is going to be the same for everywhere, right? So we can start typing image source equals quote. That's going to be the same for every single match, okay, at this point. So now where are we up against? Well, now we're actually at the start of where we need to start remembering, okay? So we need to start remembering. So we're going to put this in parentheses now because now we need to start remembering what's going on. Okay, what are you remembering? Well, we're going to remember everything until we get to, ah, here we go, this quote ends it. So we're going to remember everything until we get to a quote, which in regex is saying, remember everything that's not a quote. Okay? So the character class for everything that's not something is square brackets for, for character class, not is the caret, and not a quote. Okay? So this is going to remember one time everything that's not a quote. Well, we need so here's the I. See the I right there? One time, everything is not a quote. We need one or more occurrences of everything that's not a quote. So, plus. And now, you can see our reference one here is exactly the source of the image. So here is our successful regex for given A-1, get the image source. Got it. So this is our first regex. Take that, paste it over there. There's our first regex. Okay, let's move on to the second regex. Okay, so now that we're this far, okay, we've gotten our image. Okay, great. Now what we need to do is after our image. Okay, so let's get past the image now. So we're gonna get rid of these parentheses because we don't remember anything anymore. We don't care. Okay, we're not gonna remember, and we still need this. We still need this matching here because we still don't know what's gonna be inside of here. So we still have to match the I don't know. Okay, so now we need to match, well, let's see, we could match um, the alt here, but that's a lot to type because now I'm going to have to start matching everything. What we can do is backtrace and say, okay, I don't care anything that's between here and here now, because now, remember, what our task is, is we're matching this now. So I don't care anything that's in this image tag. All I know is that there's going to be an image tag. So let's ba let's backtrace here. Let's go all the way back to here. We're going to say bracket image, and then I don't care what's inside. What are we stopping at, though? Let's go, starting from bracket image, let's go all the way until we get to the closing tag. Just match everything that's inside of here. So the same thing that we just did, we're going to match everything until we get to the, the backslash, uh, until we get to the ending image tag, 
okay? Which is the same in regex as saying, match everything that's not this, okay? And and actually, it's, you, you can't really do two characters, because you can't have two characters in the character class. We don't want to stop here. We actually want to stop here. So what we're going to do is, starting here, we're going to match everything that's not this, okay? So let's write that. Character class, everything that's not that, and we want one or more occurrences of that. Boom. Okay? Now, it doesn't mean much right now. Okay? It doesn't mean much, but that's correct. That's where we want to start. Okay? Um, so now you can see where we're at. We've actually, um, we're actually here at this point uh, where we actually have this bracket. So we're close to our info title. See, it's actually here. We're close to it, so we got to get there. So we actually need to include that that bracket there. Okay. And then what we need to do is say, okay, well, what's next? Well, it looks like we've got some space. So we could have one or more occurrences of space now. Okay. So again, like we did before, character class backslash x, s, character class, and then plus one or more occurrences of spacing. Okay. So now we've got, now we're at another div. Okay. We need to skip over this div. So we're going to do what we did for the image tag. We're going to say, okay, we've got a div here. I don't care what's inside, just get to the ending div. So that's going to be character class, um, everything that's not the closing div, okay, character class, one or more occurrences of that, okay. And now we actually need to match. So see here, we're starting here. There's a still a, a, a bracket here we had to close. So add that bracket. So now we got more space. Again, we don't know how much space, so character class, backslash x, s, character class, plus, okay? One or more occurrences of, I don't know how much space. So now, we've at our info title, so now we're actually at the div that we want. So now, we want to match, again, though, the start of the div to the end of the div, okay? So just like we did before, we don't care about any of this, we care about start getting to Patricia. So let's start with our div, so div. Again, we don't care what's inside. We just want to stop at this uh, closing bracket. So I don't care what's inside as long as it's not a closing bracket. Close our character class. I don't care how much. I need to know as many as they can. I need to know one or more occurrences of that. Okay. And then, so we're really close to getting Patricia, but we have another, we have that closing bracket to deal with. So let's add that bracket. There we go. So now we've actually started getting to that info title. So now we're so close to what we need to do. So now we need to start remembering. Now that we're here, we need to start remembering. So now we're going to put in parentheses. Okay? Well, what are we matching? We're matching everything that's not this guy. A, a opening. An opening tag to the closing diff, right? So we're going to match, again, everything that's not this character. So that's everything that's not this character multiple times. There we go. Now, lengthy regex, and I hope you followed that, but here we are. We've got our reference to our name. Beautiful. Okay? So there is our successful second regex. So now we've got this nice long regex, and we're happy that we're able to match what we want. Great. But we have a problem in that this is a really long regex, and we're, we're having to name every single element that we want till we get there, right? Well, that's not really ideal. Wouldn't it be nice if we could just straight say, okay, well, I know I want info title, so why can't I just start here and just go, just blah, 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 until I get to info title, and then get my name from there? Instead of having to go, okay, go to image, go to div, go to div, and then get inside. Why can't I just go straight to info title? Well, turns out you can but you can't do it in the way that I think you should be able to do it, okay? It does make sense when you think about it, but the way I think we should be able to do it is the way we've been doing all the not stuff, right? So we're going until we until we get to info title, we'll be saying until we until we uh, get everything that's not this, okay? Remember in regex, when we go everything until, it's the same thing as saying everything that's not. It's the same thing. So what we want to do at this point Okay, is say go starting here, get everything that's not info title. Okay, so the way that I'm going about to write incorrect uh, regex here, so don't don't copy what I'm about to do. I'm just showing you what I think it should be. Using the way we've been doing it, you should be able to go match everything that's not right info title. 
one or more times. I feel like that's how you should be able to do it. However, this is incorrect because this is these square brackets indicate a character class, not a string. So this is saying everything that's not an I, not an F, not an N, not an O, not a T, not a not an I, not a okay? That's what this is saying. It's not saying everything until info title. In order to do that, we actually can do it, but not with this syntax. We actually have to use a negated look ahead. Okay? What the hell is a negated look ahead? Well, what's a look ahead to begin with? A look ahead is basically saying it's saying something followed by something. You can actually match something followed by something else. So let's say we want to match one followed by two, right? You could actually say, I want to match uh, one followed by sorry, you want to actually match one question mark equals uh, one followed by two. Okay, this is the syntax for a, a look ahead. This is saying match one followed by two. That's exactly what this is saying. And we can change this equal sign to a not and say match everything that's not one followed by two. Okay, are you seeing how we're getting close to what we want? Instead of saying I want to match everything it's not one followed by two we could say I want to match info title okay I want to match everything it's not info title followed by followed by what followed by anything yeah, that's the key right there we want to match everything that's not info title followed by anything that's the key and it's not in a character class therefore it's a string okay there's the key everything that's not info title followed by this sign Okay. However, okay, what we want to have is we actually want to capture, we actually want to, we want to say one or more occurrences of the previous. We want to use the plus sign, right? Because we, we don't want to just get one, you know, how we, we always do in the square brackets, we always do not this multiple times. Well, you can't wrap square brackets around this to do the plus sign. You can't say square bracket... Uh, square bracket plus. Y you can't do that with this because this isn't a character class. It's a regex. So technically, you actually have to wrap it in parentheses. Okay? So we're saying, okay, I want one or more occurrences of the previous. But the previous, I don't want to use parentheses because that's remembering it. Okay? I don't want to remember this part. I want to remember something else down the road. I want to remember this name. I don't want to remember uh, this part. But that's the only way that I can actually say one or more of the of the previous. Not true. You can actually do non-capturing parentheses. So you can say one or more of the previous without actually capturing it. To do that, you don't use just parentheses, you do parentheses, question mark, colon. So now, what this says is, I want to capture everything that's, well this is saying I want, yeah, this is saying I want one or more occurrences of everything that's not info title followed by anything, which is the same thing as saying get everything until info title. That's what that's saying. Get everything until info title. Okay? And the reason that we have the plus sign is because we have one or more occurrences of the previous. What's the previous? It's this per it's this thing in parentheses. Again, you can't just do that. You actually need to wrap it in the non capturing parentheses because we don't want to remember this. Okay? Does that make sense? You can't answer me, but I'm assuming you're going to say yes. Or you're not understanding and you'll watch it again. Anyway, that's what we want to match here. We want to match that. Okay? So, you can see we're actually at info title right now. So we've matched up to the beginning of info title, which is excellent. So now we need to match this. So I could, knowing info title, I could say, okay, uh, info title, quote, Okay, and then I could say bracket, and now I'm at the start here. But let's let's take a step back. Since we're being really cool about this regex, I don't want to have to write info title twice. Okay, I don't care what the word is. You know, I don't care. So instead of writing all this, let's just say, let's forget, let's go back a second. Instead of writing info title, let's just say, let's just go until we get to this uh, this bracket right here. Okay, let's just go until we get to there. Okay, because mm, the reason for that is that we'll be doing the same thing with short text, and we shouldn't have to write it twice. Okay, it's just going to make it longer. So.